Roofs can be one of the more complex tasks when building a house. Chief Architect can help with its automatic and manual roof tools to create a variety of styles, including hip, gable, shed, curved, and several others. When you complete enclosing a room, the program is set to automatically generate a hip roof, as you see here. In 3D, it's easy to visualize the roof and make changes. Looking at the roof dialog, notice that you can define options like roof pitch, overhang, curved roofs, framing details, raise off plate for an energy heel, and other options. I'll change the pitch here to 10 and 12, and you can quickly see the impact. With the automatic roof on, I can click on a wall and toggle it from hip to gable. In fact, you can group select several walls and toggle from hip to gable. When you select and open an individual wall, there's a roof panel with controls for how the roof is generated over the wall. You can also define the roof pitch on a per wall basis. For this wall, I'll set the pitch to 3 and 12. Having a split screen with both the 2D and 3D view up at the same time can be helpful to visualize the design. In the 2D view, I'll change the saved plan view to the roof plan for a cleaner view and then group select the outer garage walls. For these walls, I'll define a dual roof pitch and set the dimension distance in from the baseline. All of these roof planes are fully editable to produce a variety of custom styles. For example, to curve these roof planes on the garage, I can select and open the roof planes, mark they are curved, and set the angle. At this point, the program will prompt me to turn off the automatic roofs. You can manually draw roof planes. For a covered porch, using the Roof Plane tool, I'll click and drag to create an initial roof plane. To set the height similar to the adjacent roof, I'll open it and copy the value for the shadow board height. Then open the porch roof, change the roof pitch to a quarter inch, mark lock, and then paste in the other height value. Then I'll snap the roof to the wall, use the break tool, and shape it around the entryway. Chief Architect includes other roofing tools for dormers and skylights. On the back side of the house, I'll place a false style dormer called a floating dormer. Notice that the program placed the walls, window, and roof plane for the dormer in one easy step. You can modify the dormer roof style, pitch, dimensions, and wall types. I can change the default window and then copy the dormer to the other side of the house. With the skylight tool, I'll place on the roof, resize, and then make two other copies for added light in this room below. Chief Architect makes it easy to create just about any type of roof you can imagine.